Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Tamashii Nation's Bandai Spears SH Figures Pac-Man action figure. Is this action figure paragon of resign and perfection, or should it be relegated to the dumpster, or is it characterized by insipid unalloyed mediocrity in the form of quantitative score? And if there is this action figure to be a 5 out of 10, why? It's meritorious. He's aesthetically appealing to take a gander at, and he's akin to his video game counterpart. Much of my dismay, much of my agony, much of my consternation, much of my chagrin, much of my distress. He commands a steep, staggering, hefty, exorbitant, lofty premium price of $20 plus sales tax, which is a cost prohibitive price to pay for a single figure. His price is 250% greater than the price of an $8 Tobias Marvel Legends action figure, or 250% greater than the price of an $8 DC Universe Classics action figure. Stark contrast to an $8 Tobias Marvel Legends action figure, this action figure is devoid of a build a figure piece for meticulously detailed behemoths of a colossal. 14 new 16 inch build a figure. Furthermore, unlike an 8 Dark Topos Marvel Legends action figure, this action figure is devoid of a comic book. So, at the um, $20 plus sales tax price point, we should be receiving a multitude of figures consolidated into the package with this um, Tamashi Nations Bandai Spears SH Figure as Pac Man action figure. Furthermore, in tandem with the aforementioned, we should also receive. a myriad of Build-A-Figure pieces for a hefty, burly, bulky, sizable Build-A-Figure bundled with this Pac-Man action figure. Additionally, we should also receive video games, DVDs, and just far more value for a harder money, especially if we're going to concede to paying $20 plus sales tax for a single figure. So, much of my release, this action figure does have latitude for dynamic posability. He does come with some accessories, but it's not enough to entice me to um, vindicate buying this particular figure. He does have an interchangeable left hand as well as two optional right hands. He does come with an optional expression part as well as cherries and blinky, but there's just not enough value compact into the package to um, warrant buying this figure, at least from my perspective. Now, if you're wealthy, if you're affluent, if you can afford to splurge, and by all means, take heed of buying this figure, you will not be disappointed. He's more or less a novelty item. Um, he will truly stand out. He has high quality shadings, high quality aesthetics, high quality textures, and he looks like he's ready and rearing to enter the fray and pummel his adversaries to death. Um, and he coincides eminently well with the prodigious 6 to 7 inch action figure collection. As you guys are uh, Achilles aware Pac-Man is a smaller character and of course he'll coincide Emily well with the Super Smash Brothers action figure collection because he has debuted in um, Super Smash Brothers for the Wii U and 3DS I believe um, but it's just too bad that he couldn't be priced at $8 plus sales tax or $5 plus sales tax. So my final verdict is 5 out of 10. This action figure hits those cylinders, but even if he is the quintessential Pac-Man action figure, the price is just too steep based on what um, we're being provided. If we're going to pay 250% more, the retail price of an eight dollar Tobis of an eight dollar Tobis Marvel Legends action figure we should receive two hundred fifty percent more value for our hard earned money and um, a single figure with a few accessories even if it's a high quality figure is just not enough for me to vindicate for me to warrant procuring this particular figure so the price precipitously plunges to ten dollars plus sales tax or less and I'll take heed of possibly buying this figure but until then I'll just desist and abstain from buying this figure. If anything, the price is apt to appreciate over the course of time and not depreciate, especially if scalpers buy this figure and subsequently resell it on the second hand market for outrageous, steep, lofty premium prices, which they have a proclivity to do. Those are the dynamics of the second hand action figure market. People buy action figures in massive quantities and they subsequently resell them, and retailers stock. Um, very few figures, unfortunately, of uh, particular characters. So if you stumble upon a figure that you covet to buy, that you desire to buy, if you don't buy it in, if you do not buy it in a retail store, then you'll more than likely pay a steeper premium price in the pending future if you decide to buy it via eBay. 
or um, used on the second hand market in person. Once again, I hope that you found this video to be intriguing as well as enthralling and insightful. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.